Hey everyone, here is a question from perimeter and area and the question here is the length of the one side of rectangle is twice the length of its edges inside. If the perimeter of the rectangle is 60 cm, find the area of the rectangle. So they have given few things to us. One, they have given the relationship between rectangle and its edges inside which is nothing but breadth. So length of a rectangle is twice the length of its edges inside. Edges inside is nothing but they are talking about the breadth. For example, suppose this is a rectangle, right? We know that this is length and this is length. Its edges inside is nothing but this side. So this side is nothing but breadth or this side we can take. This is a breadth actually. So th they are saying that length is twice. Twice means two times its edges inside. Edges inside is breadth. Okay, so this is the relationship here. Length is twice of the breadth. So we got one relation. This is what one thing we have given. One more thing we have given is perimeter. Perimeter of rectangle is 60 centimeter. So these two relations we have to use and we have to find the area. So to find the area, first we have to find out what is length, what is breadth. Once we know this thing, we can able to find the area. Now we understood what's the relationship between length and breadth. So let's substitute and get the answer here. So let's start the solution. So from question, they have given that. It's given. They have given a relationship between length and breadth. The length is equal to twice of the length of its edges inside. So here I'm taking edges inside to be breadth. Okay, B. I'm taking a variable B here, which is nothing but edges inside. Then L is, I just rewrite this one. So length is equal to 2P. Now they have given perimeter is equal to 60 centimeter. We know perimeter formula, right? Perimeter is equal to, I'm writing P. P is equal to 2 into L plus B. Yeah. It's twice of length plus twice of breadth, or you can write down 2 into L plus B. So we're going to substitute the value here. Perimeter we know it's 60. It's given in the question. So I'm going to write down here 60 in place of P. I'm going to write down 60 or 60 centimeter you can write down. So this is equal to 2 into length. I'm going to substitute L itself plus or you can do one thing. In place of length, we're going to substitute 2B because L is equal to 2B. I'm going to substitute here 2B plus this breadth. I'm going to write down breadth itself. I'm not changing it. Okay, so I'm using this relation length is equal to 2B and I'm substituting here in this perimeter formula. Now you can see we got it's like a, a linear equation in one variable. We got a variable B here. We have to find the value of B. So 60 is equal to 2 into 2B plus B is 3B. Right? Now 60 is equal to so 2 into 3B. 2 3s are 6. So we'll get 6 b now i want only the value of b i don't want the 6 here so i'm going to transpose 6 to the other side so when you transpose 6 which is like getting multiplied with b when you transpose to the other side it comes in division so when you do use this transpose method multiplication become division so from here we can write down 60 divided by 6 is equal to b you can cancel the numbers 6 ones are and this is 6 tens are 60. So we got therefore b is equal to 10 or you can write down 10 centimeter. Right? We got b value breadth is equal to 10 centimeter. So I'm going to use this relation that is length is equal to 2b. I'm going to substitute in this. So this is 2 into 10 centimeter which is nothing but 20 centimeter. Now I know what is length. I got length 20 centimeter. We know breadth is 10 centimeter. Using this two, we can able to find out the area. So area of rectangle is length into breadth, right? So we can substitute here. So area is equal to length into breadth. Substitute the value. So it's 10 centimeter multiplied by 20 centimeter. So 10 into 20 is 200. So we'll get 200 centimeter square square will get don't forget that so that's it we got the value of length breadth and then later we found the area of the rectangle i hope this question is clear in case you have any further questions or doubts you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching